God our Savior has a desire his desire in order of spiritual priority is that number one all men all people groups all nations be saved and then that when they are saved that they come unto the knowledge of the truth hallelujah are we learning guys there are many believers who are not serving the purposes of the kingdom not in any way and in any sense you make yourself a prey when i sent you lackest thou anything there are people who want to deal with lack and they think it's just a financial problem no provision was supposed to honor your passion for that service why should god give you 10 million dollars 100 million dollars what percentage of it supports kingdom come when i sent you when you agreed to be a laborer did you lack the journey to transformation is what affects your mind turning you to a believer but even at that you are still not effective because you cannot perform the mandate of the kingdom as a believer you will have to transit to become a witness you don't need empowerment as a believer you need enlightenment and transformation empowerment happens when you are a witness so whilst they were under the tutelage of jesus he didn't talk about empowerment at all lecture after lecture helping them to understand the kingdom now when they had the information he said tarry you have the word but don't go yet until you be endued with power the value of the empowerment is that it came upon minds that were transformed because you see getting sermons is not the issue of theological understanding alone there is a fountain in the spirit that when you break that open it is in your light that we see light Otherwise, as a preacher, you will be tired one day. You will stand in front of your congregation and literally cry and say, listen, I've taught everything. I read about faith. I preached it last week. I, I thought I would bring joy. I found out I, I spoke about joy last year. And your members know when you are exhausted. They love you, but they love their destinies too. They will live in pursuit for authenticity. Authenticity. Oh, let me tell you the truth. The world is so dark when men see authentic light, they don't deny it. Did you hear what I said? Because the Bible says that which makes manifest is light. That is the Bible's definition of light. Whatever can drive away darkness, if it has that dominion enough to drive away darkness, then it qualifies to be called light. John 1, 9. That was the true light that lighted every man. That means there are false lights. They propose liberty, but they do not have the power to drive darkness. It's time for you to get back to the foundation of your spiritual understanding. And if need be, to begin to deconstruct certain things. What do I believe about prayer? What do I believe about God? Why are things not working in my life? I prayed for 30 people and just one person got healed. Glory be to God. But that scorecard, even from a human standpoint, will not earn you honor in the world of men. No believer, no matter how well intentioned, will excel in life and in any endeavor beyond the level of your experience. The impact of your experience that you have with God is what translates to the excellence as far as your spiritual life is concerned. And like I did say, an encounter with God or an experience with God would help you to know him. And that when you know this God truly, you will love him. Loving God was never supposed to be mechanical. It was not supposed to be something you prime people and try to force them. It was, it was designed to be a reaction. It's impossible to love genuinely without having knowledge of that God. Because when you understand him, then you will love him and from that love you will desire to live for him and to serve him the moment you corrupt this formula so one dimension per time that it is possible ladies and gentlemen please look at me a man can get the keys that lead to influence 
and no nation will close its gates towards you. It doesn't matter the sentiment. You believe me when I tell you this. A man can lay hold of the principles that makes for the command of wealth and abundance. And if you find it in the spirit, I don't care what your background is or was. I don't care the limitations. You will tame life like an animal and show through your excellency that God reigns. I'm praying for you. The grace that makes for encounters that draw men beyond the outer court beyond the inner court that leads you to virgin chambers in the spirit where you will see and where you will hear where you will know God for who he is deriving confidence audacity from those encounters may that grace rest upon you the Bible says blessed is the man who God causes to approach him I pray for you let that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ now please look up please look up be sensitive you are receiving something here